Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Xenoblade Chronicles. In the last episode, we did a side quest involving Tyrea. This time, uh, we have Yumea's maid here. Was it? Was she here before? I was the one responsible for Lady Yumea during her incarnation. Um, in incarceration, whatever. Um, apparently, Lady Tyrea was conceived at a initial um. Well, you can read this, it's probably interesting, but, um... They're saying so many words that are big that I can't read. Um... However, Yumea, despite her duty to the Order, gave birth to Tyrea. And even now, it is not clear why Yumea dared to defy the Order. Straight after the Bionis awoke, Tyrea visited her mother. The two of them sat, and Yumea told her the story I tell you now. On that dreaded night, Yumea poured her heart out to her child. I believed I witnessed Yumea's dying words of love to Tyrea. Well, I didn't read that entire thing. I kind of now wish I did, but I do not want to go back up. I do not want to go back there and read the whole thing again. Anyway, hello, Linata. Zanza underestimates what, our, what we are capable of. This is our chance. Now, all you need to do is... sorry. I know it won't be easy. Okay, let's get going. Let's go... inside the Bionis. Also switch to Shulk, because he's Shulk. It, he has a lot to do with the story now, and also Melia and the party actually know. Kinda want... Uh... No, let's have Sharla. We haven't had Sharla in the party for a while. Let's see. We're ready to fly into the Bionis. Shall we head there now? Yes, let's go. It's the inside of the Bionis. It looks quite different from when we entered via the marsh. The Bionis is regaining its biological functions. Must be because Zanza woke it up. Then we find Zanza and stop him. Interior landing site. Do these shops have anything new? Yes. After coming here? No. That makes me sad. Well, uh, I think I'm gonna let you take a listen to the music here. That's all you get, because I don't care. There are level 70 freaking monsters here, so yeah, being level 70 is probably something we want to do now. Happy I fought that freaking Telethia last time. Being a Telethia, this is a Telethia. It's pretty easy, though? I guess the last fight I did was freaking level 80 Telethia, so of course this is gonna seem easy. Okay. Now, we've actually been inside the Bionis before. Uh, when we were leaving Satoru Marsh to go to Magna Forest, we went inside the Bionis for a tiny second. And now, we're inside the first lung. So we're inside the Bionis again, and this time it actually has item orbs and stuff, so it's like a normal area. Fiora, stop screaming in pain. It's, it's not it's not fun. Okay. Hello, Wargo Cellular? We don't get the good music anymore. Yeah, now that we can't really go to Mechanis, we're never really gonna hear uh, the music that plays when you get spotted by Mechon anymore. 
or by literally anything, I'm gonna make honest. Now we're gonna hear that at the beginning of the battle, and I hate that sound. I, I hate... I don't like the music that plays when you get spotted by an enemy on the Bionis. It's, it's not good. It's not. At all. Not good. But hey, maybe you'll like it. I don't like it. I don't get it. If you do, but... Whatever. I just realized how absolutely terrible this team is. Like, I don't even have anybody who's able to use Topple. I mean, I guess Fiora a little bit, but like, no. Put Ryan in the party or something. Maybe Dunban, actually. Ryan has more health. I'm gonna go with Ryan. I am so happy I put Ryan in the party. He can use Wild Down, he can topple people, I'm happy. Uh, I'm not gonna fight every single tiny little enemy I find. Although I probably should, because we're only level 70 and everything here is over level 70, so... Mm. Whatever, I can deal with it. That's disgusting. <laughs> you look well, your highness. That voice. It's Lorathea. Show yourself. Look at that. The heart of the Bionis. The pulsating life of Lord Zanza. Quit your yapping and show yourself. I await your highness here. There is something I wish to show you. Your friends are welcome to join you. That is, if they survive. <laughs> Lorithea, what are you planning? Forget her for now. We must push on to the heart. All right. Sure, Shulk. Okay. I know we don't need to go this way, but I'm gonna go this way anyway, and it's uh, heart to heart, and I can't do it because I'm dumb, and I never freaking work on any affinity between anybody in this game. Hello. No. Uh, give me that. <laughs> Let's get going. Uh, this area is honestly kind of big. Well, it's not big, but it's not good either. This isn't my least favorite area in the game. Actually, maybe it might. I don't know. Uh, let me try to think my least favorite area in the game. Tepra Cave is pretty boring. I don't really like Tepra Cave. And again, I don't really like caves in games, so that might be... Okay, man, you're gonna die. Okay. The fact that everything in this world just takes a bunch of, like, drops chests, physical chests, it's strange. Anyway, we got this level 45, 75, wow, I'm completely off. Item orbs, and I'm very happy about that. I don't care, 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 I don't care. Okay. Black liver bean. Did I just go over here just to grab an item orb? I did! Great! There's not even anything here. You know, when I see, you know, in video games when I see a circle like this, I'm like, boss? Is there a boss? Because that's what it usually is. It's how it always is in video games. And you know what? I. I was about to say something about Pikmin 3, but I think I've already mentioned that in my Let's Play that game, so... You can go watch that instead. I'm gonna waste your time. And, uh... Hey, look! Blood? Blood. 
we're gonna fight in blood. My question, if this really is blood, why can't the characters, like, cough blood in this game? Like, cough red blood? Because they cough black blood and bleed black blood, but they don't, like... Yeah, I don't get it. Oh my god. Oh my god, that fight took a while. Okay, Wing of Light. What's this? Active cells? What's this? Stuff? What's this? More stuff! Okay. Over there we got a bunch of just ether crystals and an item orb. Okay. We'll run into a unique monster eventually, probably. Most definitely. There are unique monsters in this area. Hey, look! I was right! Brian isn't talking about unique monsters. Run into a unique monster. And a landmark, so if we do die, we'll just respawn right in front of the unique monster and die right away. Awesome. This isn't going well? Oh no, okay. That's great, dude. Foot edge, air slash. Oh god, I need to heal Fiora. Here we go. There we go. You're now here. Okay. Uh, I wish I could go ahead and use Shaker Edge, but can't really do that. Alright, took out the unique monster. This thing needs to die now. And it will, eventually. Oh my god, it inflicted slow. I hate being inflicted with slow. It sucks. Okay. Give me this. Banquet fighter, please. Please be good. Also got Eclipse Boots. Those are heavy. Those suck. Okay. Please say I got a good weapon for Ricky! Ricky finally has a good weapon! The critical rate goes down, but I don't care! Finally! He's gonna- He's gonna f freaking fight with a dead fish for the rest of the game! <laughs> Yes. Yes. Ricky and his legendary dead fish. The legendary hero pawn's legendary weapon pawn. Good. Gig Gigas Telethia? Okay. Or Gigas Telethia, I guess you'd say that. I, I can't speak. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Let's... Or, fine, fine. I was gonna put Ricky in the party because he just got a dead fish as a weapon, and I think that'd be fun. We have two yellow enemies fighting me. Okay. Fine. I'll fight you both. Okay, that thing died. Give me like ten thousand experience, which is nice. I really want to level up. I really, really want to level up. Everything is the, like a really high level, and that thing is a level 75 unique monster that I really want to fight because it's a very tempting thing to fight. I'm gonna do that now. All I have to do is jump down here. And then walk over here so I can fight this thing. Hopefully I'll level up from this. I probably won't because it's level 75 and... You know, fine. I'm gonna fight you anyway. I don't care. I already completed an entire row for the Collectopedia here. Aggro down four. There we go. Two more things to grab. Will I grab them? Only time will tell. I'm going to try this. I am going to try this. Although I'm going to take out you first because you were smaller and you might give me a little bit of experience to level up real quick. And I'm going to take you out. Come on. Oh god. Okay. 
There we go. You. Now I can take you out, because I didn't want your little friend interrupting our battle. Alright. Uh, what am I gonna do with you? I do need to heal right now. I would like it if you'd come more over here so I can backslash you. I can backslash you. Okay. Hear that thing pulsating in the background. Ow! I'm asleep. Fiora, save me! Okay, Ryan, get up. Let's go. I'll heal Ryan. You know, it would probably be a better idea to heal Shulk because he has less HP. Ow! Oh, crap! I was right. It was a better idea to heal Shulk. Crap. Heal me, chain attack. Okay. What am I gonna do with you? I'm gonna use backslash on your face, and then we'll go in with uh, double blade. Oh, I can topple you? I probably should have done that the whole time then. Okay. I wasn't even thinking about toppling him, I was thinking about just... Another purge, just inflict days on him at the last second! There we go, cool. There we go! Chosen one? That sounds awesome, it probably sucks. It doesn't suck! Sarsaparilla? What? What kind of a name is that? I don't care. I finished the veg. The veg. Got haste 5. Awesome. Tap, tap, tap. That's the final item for this area. I literally got out of the menu and then collected the final item for the area. Z speed goggle. Goggle? Goggles? Okay, goggles. And they're good! And they look badass! Put that on! <laughs> what did I have on you? Like a Ether Up 3? Yeah, you can go ahead and take that again. I don't care, but... Uh, Fiora looks awesome! She's not even... There she is! She looks freaking awesome now! Look at... Look at Fiora! Look at her! She's off to the side. I'm gonna freaking do this now. Look at her! She looks awesome! Like some kind of space cop or something. I don't know where I got that from, but she looks awesome. Anyway. Just gotta move a little farther in here. And we hey, get back here! I wanted to fight you! Hey! I... I... Fine! No, he's not coming back. Great. Okay, I wanted to fight him, but I can't. I'll fight you. Terminal Nerve Tower. We're almost there. We're very close. We're so close to being to the area we need to be to be. I have no idea what I just said. I just said we need to be the bee or something like that. I don't know. Ghostly Ma- Maatos? I am butchering every single one of these names that are in this game, but you know what? I'm gonna take out these guys first, and then I'll go take out that thing. Or maybe it'll join in this battle, I don't know. Like, it's moving closer, and closer, and closer, so I'm gonna try to take out this thing as fast as I can. Or these things, apparently, okay. Let's daze you again. Okay. Oh great, I'm running out of space in my inventory again. Or I have ran out of space in my inventory again. Let's fight you! Let's go, it's level 76, I'm gonna die. Let's try this anyway. I did beat a level, level 80, so I'm pretty sure I could take on a level 76. It, it shouldn't be too hard, right? Probably. 
Probably not. And again, I had Melia in the party at that time, and she could just topple the crap out of everybody. Okay. You are a Telethia, so I do expect that you can have the whole mind-reading thing. So if you do that, I have Monado Purge. Super Aura. Am I right? I don't know. No, I'm not. Okay. You're just not gonna read anyone's mind. Got it. Oh, you have an aura thing. Isn't it? I'm stupid. There we go. That felt like a boss fight. Okay. Give me the treasure chest. Will o Wisp staff, satellite shot, and meteor staff. Two staffs? Oh, yeah, the replica Monado. What gems did I have on this before? Alright, so we got those staffs from Melia. They're really good. Those are really good. Okay. Maybe the Empress staff wasn't worth it, but. Those gems. I really like the gems on the weapon. I think I'm gonna keep her on the Empress staff, even though this is a better staff. I just don't think I should do it for the gem slots, because I don't really have very good gems right now anyways. Uh, what else did we get? The satellite shot. That isn't bad. But. But. I don't have anything bad to say about it, actually, so there's not, there's no really, there isn't really a but. Okay, I still have a little bit to go. Just walk up here then. Here we go. Finally made it up here. I'm gonna grab this item more first. Not what I need. I already completed this collectivity actually, so I don't really need anything. Okay. That is a weird way to, Okay, why is there a door in a heart? Whatever. The heart entrance. Here we go. Ew. Welcome to my world. I must say, I am surprised. Zanza's vessel truly does have a will of its own, and looking quite sprightly. I'm still alive. I won't die. Not yet. And that's why we're here. Everyone who lives in this world has a life. So, it shouldn't be threatened by anyone. We'll never give in to Zanza. Mmm, so full of passion. Well, if it's life you're looking for, I'll show you true life. <gasps> it's... Brother! There is no use in calling. It worked before, but now his transformation is complete. He is my adorable servant. the word telethia. It means that which eliminates impure life. Impure life, just like you. That which Lord Zanza does not require shall be extinguished from this world. Are you ready for the most annoying boss fight in this game? You'll pay for your insolence. You'll pay for your insolence. 
You'll pay for your insolence. You'll pay for your insolence. How about this? Literally every single thing this person says in this entire fight is annoying. Also, we're all dazed. Also, this fight's all pretty difficult. Um, I'm confused. Somebody help me. Oh, come on. Remember when I said this fight's kind of difficult? And honestly, I meant to put Melia in the party before this, and I didn't. And you know what? I mean, you probably came up right before I could start fighting, so maybe I should have done that. Okay, I'm gonna heal me. Why does she keep making poop noises? Like she's trying to grab a big one. I'm about to die. I am about to die. I'm I'm going to die. I'm I'm dead. I'm going to die. Oh god. Ryan, wake up! I just healed nothing. What the hell? Get up! I need to heal. I need to heal. I need to heal. I need to heal. You know what? I should have put put freaking. Uh, Ricky and Melia. Stop pooping! You'll pay for your insolence. You'll pay for your insolence. You'll pay for your this is for defying Lord Sun. It'll all be over soon. I'll tell you Not what I meant to do, but okay. It'll all be over soon. I'm gonna die. I too, Melia. Brother, I must apologize. To you, and to everyone. Because of our transformation into Telethia. I am a princess, but I brought misfortune upon the high end here. I... I... You are mistaken, Melia. The Telethia gene lies dormant within us all. There was no escaping the cursed blood in our veins, sister. It was fate. That is why our father sought to dilute the bloodline. <laughs> you are the hope of the High Entia. You will not transform into a Telethia. Even after the Bionis has reawakened, you can still succeed the Imperial line. You have the power to end our suffering. Knowing this, both I and Father were happy to sacrifice ourselves. It was our choice. Brother. There is no need to fear. After all, this is precisely our wish.
In the end, you are the only ones who can stop Zanza. Yes. Now, leave her to me. You must go. You must accompany Shulk. No! My Telethia! You! What have you done? I have done nothing. This is your destiny. Accept it with dignity! Ah! My body! No! I was promised immortality! Melia, at long last I can be with father. You must now live your own life. The path you forge, the future you choose. That is the hope of the High Entia. Thank you, brother. Your words will stay with me forever. His words? Oh, Ricky heard. Ricky heard Melly's brother. Oh, Callian say, hope of bird people. Hmm, where Melly's brother? Oh, Ricky not see him, but Ricky hear him. Ricky. You too heard his parting words. Thank you. Melia. Thank you for your concern. I am all right. Let us go and secure the future my brother so hoped for. We will. Together. <laughs> Such a brave princess. <gasps> Dixon! Don't look at me like that. I take time out of my schedule to send you off to a nice spot. And that's how you welcome me. What do you mean? I'll be waiting at Prison Island. I've picked out a lovely place to return your flesh and blood to the Bionis. Don't keep me waiting. See ya later. <laughs> I'm gonna... Come on, everyone. We've got to get to Prison Island. Okay. Alright, so next time on Xenoblade Chronicles, we'll be going to Prison Island. See you guys next time.